and welcome back friends for reading time with CJ. Thank you so much for joining me today so that we can read and explore more books together. So for today's read along, I'm going to give a big shout out to Shamika De Silva all the way from Sydney, Australia. Thank you Shamika for sending in your name and tuning in for my read alongs. So do you know what book we're going to be reading today? This book is called Sela the Peach, written by Susan Chodakowitz. Are you ready to read along with me? Let's go! Sela the Peach by Suzanne Chodkowitz, illustrated by Mosa Tanskli. On a tenth day in April, the sun's first ray beamed upon the tiniest peach as it greeted the day. Hello, little peach, you're cute as can be. You're no ordinary peach, as you will soon see. A very special purpose awaits you, said the ray, so listen closely and you will be on your way. The little peach swayed on the branch of her tree and wondered what her special purpose could be. Purr, said a cat under the tree. I've heard you have a special destiny. Purr, said the peach. I can purr like you. Is that what a peach like me should do? I've never heard a peach that can purr like a cat, but you're meant for something other than that. The little peach swayed on the branch of her tree and wondered what she was meant to be. You can purr, I've heard, said a cooing bird. Can you also coo like me? Coo, said the peach. Your song feels so free. Can I be like you and sing on a tree? Little peach, you can coo, said the bird as she flew, but find your own song unique to you. The little peach swayed on the branch of her tree and wondered what her song could someday be. Then a gaggle of geese honked in a row. Honk, honk, said the peach, like the geese below. Little peach, said a goose, you can mimic all you've heard, but your destiny requires that you learn a special word. The little peach swayed on the branch of her tree and wondered what a special word could be. Ribbit, said a frog from the pond beyond. Ribbit, said the peach, happy to respond. You're the cutest little peach I ever did see, but your purpose is not to ribbit like me. There is someone special, pure and new, anxiously waiting just for you. The little peach swayed on the branch of her tree and wondered who that special someone could be. Now the bees began to buzz with boisterous cheer. Buzz, buzz, said the peach. Such a lovely buzzing I hear. We've been waiting, little peach, for you to appear. We feared you wouldn't show, but you're finally here. All that buzzing awoke the queen of the bees. She yawned out of slumber and stretched out her knees. For nine months, I've waited for you to appear. It's so good to see you, little blossom, my dear. Then from her sack of special pollen, the queen of the bees sprinkled the little peach and flew off among the trees. The little peach felt goosebumps up and down her fur. She sensed something extraordinary was about to happen to her. The queen sprinkled the peach with her special pollen powder. The bees rejoiced and their buzzing grew even louder. Hooray! cooed the bird. Honk! went the geese. Ribbit! croaked the frog. Such a news release! 
The April wind blew as April winds do. Pay attention, little peach, and find the song within you. Listen for a sound you've not yet ever heard, and let your soul guide you to say the special word. Now from the window on high came a sweet baby's cry, the sweetest sound the little peach ever heard under the sky. A longing deep inside her began to stir, and something extraordinary began to change in her. Then the peach heard a voice so loving, so sweet, a motherly voice that made her feel so complete. Nine months I've waited to hold you, my dear, and now, my little baby, you're finally here. Then at last came the word from the depth of her soul, a word that fulfilled her and made her feel so whole. Mama, said the peach. Suddenly now, to her great surprise, the little peach was no longer a peach, but a baby staring into her mother's loving eyes. Sayla, my baby, you're as cute as can be. You're the cutest little peach I ever did see. The End And I hope you enjoyed this book, girls and boys, just as much as I did. Please don't forget to tune in next time so that we can read together. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.